different queuing disciplines. Regardless how simple or sophisticated the rest of the resource allocation mechanism is, each router, each router must implement uh, each router. Must implement. Um, uh, some queuing discipline. Right, and what this queuing discipline will do? This queuing discipline uh, will govern will govern uh, how how packets how packets are buffered. And what do you mean by this? Uh, by saying packets are buffered means which packets? get transmitted, which packets get transmitted. So uh, by saying queuing discipline means uh, a queuing discipline govern, uh, governs how packets are buffered, means which packets get uh, transmitted uh, and Buffer space. It manages the buffer space. And what do we mean by this? Uh, this means which uh, which packets get discarded. Discarded. So it's a very important decision uh, uh, that our queuing uh, discipline has to make that which packets will be discarded and which packets are buffered means which packets get uh, transmitted, right? And most importantly, uh, queuing discipline is uh, also directly uh, affects the latency experience by a packet. It directly, that it directly affects the latency. And what do you mean by this? This means that um, uh, how long a packet waits to be retransmitted. So, by the way, there are two common uh, there are two common queuing algorithms that we'll talk about first. Two common queuing algorithms. Number one, uh, first in, first out. First in, first out. And the, the second one is called fair queuing. FQ. Okay, so let's talk about the first one that is uh, first in, uh, first out, uh, is the most uh, widely used uh, queuing algorithm in the internet routers at the moment, right? So let's talk about the first mechanism that is first in, first out. Uh, the the idea of first in first out uh, is also called first come first served uh, means first come first FCFS first come first served queuing. All right, so. What we do basically here is that a router maintains our queue. And uh, this queue has uh, 
some finite space. And let's assume that these are the packets in the queue waiting for uh, waiting for the transmission. So uh, the packets that have arrived first will be transmitted first. So this is the next to next packet to transmit. Next to transmit. And uh, we can say uh, this is the next pre buffer. Next pre buffer. And uh, this, this part of the queue is representing the queued packets. And this part. Is representing the free buffer. Right, and if a uh, new packet comes in, it will be placed inside the queue depending on the uh, available space. And if we assume uh, that the queue is full, there is no space available in the queue. So what will happen then? What will happen this with this arriving? So this let's assume that this is this is the arriving. This is the arriving packet. OK, so if uh, note that uh, if the queue is full, the router will discard this uh, arriving packet. Why? Because there is not enough uh, uh, buffer in the space. By the way, uh, this is called uh, tail drop. Why? Because we have dropped a packet at uh, the tail of the queue. Why? Because the queue was full. Uh, there was not enough uh, uh, space available in the, the in the uh, uh, in the buffers here, right? And remember that these are two different uh, uh, ideas. What the tail drop, tail drop, and uh, and uh, first in, first out. Uh, uh, first in, first out are two separable, separable ideas. Why? Because this drop tail is a drop policy. Where this drop policy is very simple in first in, first out. That is, if a queue is full, we'll drop the packet, right? And this first in, first out is 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 a scheduling discipline. Is a scheduling discipline. Okay. So, uh, and usually uh, the bundle is referred to simple uh, first in, first out queuing, right? So when I say first in, first out. Uh, it means that a drop policy is uh, is all is, is is already there. More precisely, it should more precisely. It should more precise. Will be called first in, first out, with a tail drop. Policy, right? Mechanism. Okay, but anyways, if we refer to a first in, first out, uh, uh, it, this means a tail drop policy is already there. By the way, this first in, first out with tail drop uh, uh, is the, the simplest of all the queuing algorithms and is the most widely used uh, in the internet routers, as I uh, discussed earlier. But important thing is that the prevalent form of congestion control in the internet currently assumes no help from uh, the router. So it's very important to see. So if we, if we look at this, uh, the management of this queue, router is merely doing anything, merely helping the traditional congestion control algorithm in uh, controlling the uh, congestion, right? It's just queuing the packets, and if the buffer is full, 
the router will start dropping the packets. The router is not really helping uh, uh, the traditional congestion control mechanism in this congestion control uh, and controlling the congestion in the network, right? So we can also propose some variations in this uh, first in, first uh, out queuing, and we call it priority queuing. Or so uh, first in, first out with priority queuing. With priority queuing. So here we maintain more than one queues, for example. This is one queue. This is another queue. And let's assume we have another queue. And the priority of this queue is one. This is the highest priority, for example. Then we have the priority of this queue two, and then the, the third queue has priority three. And the router processor, uh, first uh, will provide services to queue number one. So the router process will not uh, serve queue two until it is done transmitting all the packets in queue one. So, so there are packets waiting in queue two, there are packets waiting in queue three. So what's the drawback of such a mechanism? I mean, what do you think was the problem with this priority uh, FIFA with priority queuing. What's the problem? Yes, you're right. The the problem is high priority uh, queue can starve can starve out all the other queues. Right, so where the router processor, where the router processor is, you know, busy in serving queue one, which is the highest priority queue, and the other uh, queues are star means uh, the packets are experiencing delays. There are timeout at the sender side. The sender is sending, retransmitting uh, the packets again. This will result into uh, congestion. But there is an obvious implementation of such a a mechanism of uh, FIFA with high uh, with priority queuing is uh, the router up, routing updates. So in order to update the routers at routing tables at different routers, we send a special queue. Um, uh, we set a special queue for uh, the priority uh, packets of routing updates, right? And this, by by the way, uh, the, this implemented with the help of uh, so the example of such an implementation is routing updates. Right, and uh, how we identify that a packet has uh, the routing update? We use differentiated differentiated service port point in the type of service field of IP uh, datagram. Right? And this identifies that there's a priority packets that need to be placed in a high priority queue for uh, immediate uh, transmission of the data. Okay, so <clears throat> so what's the problem with this? Uh, uh, what's the problem? What do you think? What's the problem with uh, what's the problem with first in first out? What do you think? Yes, the problem with first in first out is that it does not discriminate between between uh, the different effort uh, sources between the different traffic sources, okay? And this, this 
and then and because of this, it is possible for an ill-behaved source or a flow to capture uh, an arbitrarily large fraction of uh, the network capacity, right? Let, let's assume that uh, in this queue, we have two types of application sending data. One is with the, one application is using TCP's end-to-end -end congestion control, and the other application is using, uh, is based on, for example, is internet telephony. So if we are not discriminating, if the first in first out uh, mechanism uh, is not discriminating between the different flows, means between these two different types of application, so what will happen? So an internet, in internet telephony-based application will be keep sending data uh, to a router, regardless of the, uh, the drop of arriving packets. This will not affect the sending rate of the internet uh, telephony application. But on the other side, uh, if we are using uh, application uh, based on TCP. So if a packet is dropped at the router, the center will experience a timeout, a triple duplicate acknowledgement, and the sender will slow down the sending rate. So in this case, the application that is making use of TCP for its transmission will slow down the sending rate, whereas the internet telephony uh, based application arbitrarily uh, use the large fraction of the network capacity, right? So th this is not a fair way uh, fair way to uh, allocate the network resources, right? So 